Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, when we get ready to start, if we could have some people that are willing to sit up in the balcony as well, some of our, uh, our advanced people need some room down here, so if you're able to climb some stairs, not all of you because we don't have room for everybody, also if you're sitting down here, if you could slide to the middle to leave room for people on the outside when we start church. We'll be starting in just a few little, little bit, thank you.
Well, good morning and happy Sabbath, church family. I'd just like to welcome everyone here. I know we have quite a few people. We have a lot of visitors and guests today. And I just want to say a special thank you to those that have traveled far and wide. I also want to say a special thank you to our members here, to making room for everybody. This is an incredibly special occasion, and I know many have come to hear the kids and all the talents that God has blessed. How many of you were here last night in the auditorium? Amen. It was, it was an incredible blessing to hear God. It was an incredible blessing to hear God uh, through these young people and the talents they have shared, and uh, it, it truly was a blessing. For those of you that don't know who I am, I am Pastor Benji. I am the new lead pastor here at Highland Seventh-day Adventist Church, and again, it is a privilege to have you. Before we get going with the rest of our service this morning, we do have a, a couple of announcements to take care of, some church business. First of all, if you are a visitor and you're, you're interested in finding out what's happening here or connecting with the pastors, we have what's called our connect cards in the pews in front of you. If you're interested in Bible studies, if you're interested in having a visit from the pastor, or if you're interested in finding out to get more involved here at Highland Seventh-day Adventist Church, please fill out this Connect card. You can hand it to one of the pastors or the deacons, or you can put it in the box in the back where we collect the offering, and we will get back to you. One of our other favorite cards is also in front of you. It's our prayer card, and I can't... There it is. Our prayer cards. And this is something that's very special here at Highland because this is our opportunity to join with you all in, in praising God, in praying for something, some request that you have on your heart. You can fill this out, and during our uh, time of prayer in this service, you can come forward and you can put it in the elder's Bible. Or if that's uncomfortable and you're not sure about that, you can also put it in the offering um, box in the back, and we will disseminate those, and we'll join you in those prayer requests. And so I just want to encourage you to fill those out and let us join together as a community of praying believers. This afternoon, there's, there's quite a bit happening this weekend. Many of you already know the schedule, but what I just want to encourage you is there's a potluck for those aren't, uh, that are not participating in the Music Fest. It's here in our fellowship center, so we just join us after the service for that. Just a special thank you to those who came out and did our church clean out. I just want you to know, it's, it's hidden, it's unseen, it's hard to be able to know how much stuff was moved and thrown away and donated and all of that kind of thing. But we had a huge construction dumpster full of wonderful things, as well as donated some things, as well as people took home. And I just want to say a special thank you to the, the many of you that came out and walked up and down those stairs, helped clean out our storage areas as well as underneath the stairs. So just thank you from your pastoral team. Uh, we do really appreciate that. We have a picture. We'll put it up on our, our social media so you can see all the wonderful people. And we had some littles, too, helping us. So thank you to everybody, no matter what age you were, to coming out and helping. There, a couple of other items of business. Don't forget that this evening at 630, this evening at 630 is another concert in the gymnasium. And uh, that'll start at 630. And then um, 4 o'clock... I'm looking, making make sure 4 o'clock in here is a special Vespers, 4.30, 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock, all right, <laughs> 4 o'clock, okay, in here is a Vespers at 4 o'clock that I'm sure you're welcome to come and, and participate with, so that's at 4 o'clock here, then the concert will be down there at 6.30 in the auditorium. Also, for those of you that are Highland members, even if you're not a Highland member and you want to come to our church camp out, Please look on our Facebook page or our website to find out more information about that. Registration is happening right now. It's in April, and we're excited about that church camp out. And even if you can't go, as Tim said uh, in the announcement, if you can't, like, if you're not a big camping fan, but you want to come and fellowship on Sabbath, uh, there'll be an opportunity to do that. And so if you have any more questions about that, see myself or Tim or Pastor Steve, and we'd love to get you involved in that church camp out. There's many other things that are happening. Also, a shout out to our Pathfinder Club. Uh, we took first place in the Pathfinder Bible experience. So we just praise God for all our young people who studied really hard. And so we're thrilled that they're going to go on to the union. Is that correct? The union. Uh, and that's going to be coming up here shortly. So be praying for them as they're studying the scriptures diligently. But we're excited that they were able to move on in the Pathfinder Bible experience. 
Now in time for our service to continue on in worship, please join us and stand as we open with prayer. Let us pray. Father God, we just praise you for how awesome you are. Lord, this, this church is full. It is, is full of, of our young people. It's full of, of our old people. It's full of parents, church members, visitors, guests. It's full of believers in you. And Lord, we have come together, yes, for Music Fest, but more important than just Music Fest, we've come together to worship and praise you, our God and creator. And God, this morning, in all the busyness and chaos, may we take a moment and just breathe in and realize that we are so grateful that we have the opportunity to do this in this world, Lord, that we have the freedoms to come together and worship and praise. So this morning, we call on your Holy Spirit to come down. Lord, we've already been blessed in Sabbath school with the incredible talents you've blessed many of these young people with. And so, Lord, now in our service, come near to us as we draw near to you. Open our eyes, our ears, our hearts to what you have as we worship collectively together this morning. For it is all honor and glory and praise goes to you, is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Please join us for our opening hymn. Let's sing together, joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Thank you. Please be seated. Good morning. It's now time for our offering. This week it's for church budget. One of the many things. One of the many things the church budget goes for is to maintain our church to provide opportunities for something going on this week called Music Festival, which we have all been blessed by already. The young people here, it will be a highlight of their life coming to events like this. And so far, I've seen not only Kentucky, Tennessee, but several other conferences have come. Thank you for coming. 
They have an opportunity to learn from new conductors, make new friends, and have a few days away from the normal school routine and also bless us with their music. Reading from Malachi 3.10, bringing all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the doors of heaven and pour out a blessing. Verse 11, many of us skip over that. God says, I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes. And the second half of that verse, I'll paraphrase. He will protect your work, what you do for a living. God provides a supernatural level of protection for us as we pay our tithes and offerings. At your time of worship, please pray about your support for God's church. Here at Highland, we have several ways to give. You can give online at highlandadventist.org. There is a collection box out in the lobby. You can mail in your gifts or take them to the church office. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we return a small portion of the many blessings you have so freely given us. Bless and multiply them as they are used to spread your soon coming and your great love to others. Amen. It is now time for a children's story. The children will be coming down collecting money that goes to our children's ministries here at Highland. Do you remember the story of Daniel and Lion's Den and how Jesus had brought an angel to protect them? To protect him? Well, I have a story where Jesus sent an angel to protect me. So I was really little, and I was playing with a big, long metal keychain. Now, I don't remember what I was playing because it was a long time ago, but I remember in my game, I had to set it down. So I looked around the room. And I saw a doorknob, and I'm like, I should put it on the door. No, that's too boring. So I looked around the room again, and I saw a nightlight in an, in an electrical socket. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. So I decided I should put this keychain on the, on the nightlight. Now, should we be playing with electrical sockets? <laughs> no. And what could happen if we were to? We could get shocked really bad, and it might even start a fire. 
Well, I didn't know that back then. And so I was like, oh, I should hang it on the socket. So I put it over the socket and poof. Sparks went flying, the lights all went out. The kitchen was so hot that it melted to the carpet. My brother called for my mom to come, she came running. But do you know what had happened? The nightlight had flown out of the socket. Now that never happens. <laughs> and so I believed that Jesus had sent an angel to quickly grab it and pull it out of the socket and now I am here today to tell you this story. And I am so glad that Jesus protects us. You can all go back to your seats. Good morning, one more time, and happy Sabbath. So sure, the young people have been here in Music Fest, and they have been singing for hours, for hours, and we all enjoy listening to them sing. But this is our turn to sing with them. How about that? So we're going to teach you a, a short song that everybody can learn. It just says, Blessed be the name of the Lord. So we have the words. All right, so let's just learn this song before we sing with the choir. All ready? Let's go, Miss Oms. How about with me? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I will praise Him and adore Him. Oh, blessed be. Time. One, two, and blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I will praise him and adore him. Oh, blessed be the Lord. All right, let's go. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name of the Lord, I will praise Him and adore Him, oh blessed be the Lord, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be
okay, let's move on. Let's sing above all.
like to invite the congregation, if you have a prayer request, you're welcome to put it in the Bible today, and our elders will pray for it uh, during the week. Dear Father in heaven, blessed is the man, woman, or child who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, but their delight is in the law of the Lord. Today, your people have come to your presence. We come to you not as separate schools or individuals, but as one body, the body of Christ. Some might have entered this building hurt, in physical pain, damaged internally by worries, finances, loneliness, or broken relationships. Others might have come here with your peace, and they have come to thank you for your blessings. We thank you, Father, for our academies, our elementary schools, our home schools, we thank you for every child present here. They have brought musical offerings. Please accept our worship as we take your law and meditate on it day and night. Last night's wind left evidence of the enemy's destruction. Let us not be like the tree that falls when a strong trial comes, but rather let us be like a tree firmly planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit and its, in its season, and its leaf does not wither. And in whatever they do, they prosper. Lord, give strength to our youth so that they may prosper. Help them prosper in the likeness of Jesus. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Uh, today's scripture reading is found in Psalms 92.5. Psalms 92.5. Oh Lord, what great works you do and how deep are your thoughts.
It has been such a great privilege to join with the young people, with the academy directors, with the parents and teachers, especially here at Highland Academy to prepare this festival for this weekend. We have two selections we would like to present to you and to our God this morning uh, as we sing. The first one is a beautiful song about how could we possibly do without the Lord. The song is entitled, I Could Not Do Without Thee. And the second song is the theme of this program, which I know is in your bulletin, and we rejoice in the music of how great thou art.
I'm not sure about you, but I'm speechless. I don't know what to say anymore. Would you welcome, would you, would you join me in praising God this morning, how great thou art? How great thou art, God. Thank you for allowing God to use you and give us a blessing this morning. I'm overwhelmed. I, I don't know what else to say, but let, let, me, let me just give you a word as we wrap up this wonderful worship service, don't you think? Thank you, teachers. Thank you, parents. Thank you, clinicians, for all this wonderful work that we get to enjoy this morning as we praise God together. Let me just say a quick word of prayer for us. Dear gracious Father, be here with us. Fill our hearts. Help us to continue worship you, worshiping you this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'm reading from Psalm 92. What psalm did I say? It is a song for the Sabbath day. It couldn't be better than that. Is a song, actually, that was sing. It was sung during the worship services that tell us the reasons why we are here today. If I had time, I will ask you to tell me why do we come to church on Sabbath. If I have time, I will review the wonderful news that the, today we are celebrating the Earth birthday. And because God created heaven and earth and he rested on the Sabbath day. Somebody say amen. amen. That's why we are here today celebrating what God had made. Let me read verse number one and verse two. And, and as we wrap up this worship service, he says in the New King James Version, it is good, what word did I say? Good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. It is good to give what? So I wonder if anyone in Highland at SDA Church this morning would like to, would like to say, thank you, Jesus. Anyone here want to say thank you, Jesus? So I want you to think about a reason why you are thankful this morning. This psalm is about the Sabbath, and it says that on Sabbath, it is good to give thanks. So I want you to think about that word. What is it that you are thankful for? Maybe a phrase. I don't know what it is. And when I count to three, I want you to shout it at once, and I'm going to listen to each one of you say it. Is that all right? You got your reason why you are thankful this morning? You ready? Three, imagine that you're in camp meeting. <laughs> well, well imagine, imagine that you are in summer camp and you're a bunch of 10th graders and you're excited. You have seen the manifestation of God. You are in the open. Oh, look up, everyone. Look at the sky. Look at the stars. Look at the trees. Feel the breeze. Do you feel it? You feel it? Dr trying to picture yourself there. Now, now, think about that reason why you are thankful to God. You ready? You ready? You ready? In three, in two, maybe you can add, maybe you can add as you think about it, maybe in your mind you talk to your heart and you connect your mind with your heart because this morning we are praising Jesus, right? And, and when, you, when you say with, you, with your mouth what your mind and your heart are feeling, then you are going to praise Jesus this morning. You guys ready? This group is ready a long time ago. I know, I know. Hang in there. For all, all people, got to go slow. You know. So, well, talk about myself, you know. Ready? In three, in two, in one. Oh, 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 I almost fell down. This was fantastic. You guys are alive and praising Jesus Christ this morning. Amen. Oh, and now again, I go to the conclusion. Do you like the sermon? It's... <laughs> the author of How Great Thou Art, Carl Bolberg, was leaving church an afternoon. 
It was the time of the year when the, 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 the sky is gray, blue, and, 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 and the breeze is there, and the birds sing. Maybe like yesterday. How many of you still don't have electricity in your house? Amen. We are there with you. We haven't shout. Um, sorry, my wife said don't to say that. No, say that. My apologies. He was leaving church in Sweden. As he was exiting the church, and he was getting out of the place where the church was located into the fields, it became dark quickly. Thunders were heard. Lightnings were coming down. He looked refuge immediately because he was scared. He, he found refuge and waited out the storm. And when it passed, he ran to his house. He opened the doors, and something majestic happened when he opened the windows. He recalled, as the story is told, he, he, he heard the church bells ringing a familiar tune, and, 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 and he saw the sky open up, and he saw the rainbow and the birds were singing Overwhelmed by the beauty, overwhelmed by the power of God, only one word came to his mind, Almighty God. As he was overwhelmed with it, he sat down and penned the words that you know today as how great thou art. Have you been in nature before? Have you been overwhelmed by the beauty of God? Last night, I, in the middle of the night, didn't have anything to do. What do you do when you don't have electricity, by the way? <laughs> no one told me about that. So my cat is in the, I, I don't know what to do. So a thought came to mind. I'm smart like that. It was dark. No one still has electricity in our neighborhood. And I said to myself, man, I should go out and look up and see what I see. I walked out of the house in a t-shirt and short. It was cold, but I didn't care. Because when I look up, do you know what I saw? Oh, I saw beauty. I saw the sky and the moon and the stars that I haven't seen in ages. Oh, man, beautiful. And I took a picture with my iPhone 12. I will show it to you after the sermon. I know there's some people there that will always show me the superiority, the Samsung taking pictures of the moon and all that. <laughs> to you, I will say, I love you, but I don't care. My phone is better. <laughs> Yesterday, I was preparing for this, and I received a video message. Someone who's going to the Dominican Republic with us. We're going to pray for us. We're going to preach about God, His greatness and goodness in the Dominican Republic with 14 of our young adults from Kentucky, Tennessee. Say amen to that. How many of you are going to be praying for us already? Amen. Thank you. So one of them who is going to be preaching sent me a video yesterday. I have no internet. I have no connection, no electricity. So I'm waiting for the video to download. It took forever. But then she, she, she said, I, I need to tell you this, Pastor Nelson. I, I'm overwhelmed. I, I went for a hike in the middle of the storm. I went for a hike. And, and then the, 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 the beauty is amazing. I was scared. And then I arrived to this beautiful fall. And then I saw the rainbow. And I want to tell you, this is amazing. And God is powerful. And, and she went on for two minutes telling me about how impressed she was of the power of God. I came this morning to tell you one thing. God is powerful. <laughs> Say it with me. God is powerful. You better believe it. And this is how the author put it in the, in the beautiful hymn that we are reviewing today. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder Consider all the worlds thy hand have made. I see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe display. You guys took us there as you were singing those words. I'm overwhelmed. 
One more thing I want to say about this. Before, uh, this for real, now it's for real. I'm going to close in a minute. Never believe a preacher when they say that, by the way. It never happens. But I'm for real. In, in, I'll finish in 20 minutes. <laughs> As I was looking at wonderful pictures in the NASA. Have you been to the website NASA lately? <sighs> the, uh, my wife t uh, wrote down the name of the, of the telescope. I'm, I don't want to mess this up. Uh, uh, April, shout the name of the telescope. Oh, you all know it, the Hubble telescope. I didn't need her to do it. Um, the Hubble telescope sent images of the sky up there. You got to go to the NASA website and look at this beauty pictures. Oh, but then I read in Adventist Review this little uh, paragraph that said this, check this out, the universe is growing. The universe is expanding. The thought that came to mind is John chapter 14, say with me, let not you harvey trouble. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many rooms if it were not so, I wouldn't have told you so. I'm going to prepare well. I'm going to prepare well. But Daddy is preparing a place for me and for you. So look up. He's creating. He's creating. He's probably looking at you, each one of you, Mark and Peter and Mary and Jose and Maria, and saying, oh, I'm preparing a place for her. I'm preparing a place for him. I'm preparing a place for Highland Academy. I'm preparing a place for all the Kentucky Tennessee constituents. I'm preparing a place for them so we can rejoice for eternity together. Can you see it? Don't you want to be there? Don't you want to see the creation that God is making for all of you? Oh. Verse 2, to declare your loving kindness in the morning. I need two volunteers, preferably. Oh, I got one. There you go. Let's give you a hand. We got a volunteer. Yes, you raise your yeah, Come on up. We need another volunteer. Another volunteer. Oh, somebody volunteer you. Very excellent. Very good. Excellent. So this word loving kindness in the Hebrew is the word chased. Say chased. You guys are Hebrew scholars already. That word, I, everywhere I go, I try to say that. Come on up, right here. Uh, th so thankful you guys. Come on. Have you heard that word chased before? No, no. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany. Say hello, Brittany. Hello. What's your name? Brianna. 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 Yeah. Brittany, Brianna. B and B. Brianna, Brianna. Pray for me, I gotta remember these names. Brianna, Brianna. Say, hello, Brianna. So this word has said is so powerful. Stay there, I'm gonna preach, don't move. This, this word is so powerful that it's impossible to be translated in one, are you still there? In one language, in one word, in our English language cannot be translated. You need to use, get this, 26 different words in order to begin to scratch the surface of the meaning of this word chased. Say chased. So I'm going to attempt to describe it. I can't define it for you. So do you know each other? No. no. Now you do. <laughs> Brittany, Brittany and Brianna, shake hands. You're the best friends now. As, as simple as that. See how simple it is to make friends? Just come up, say, ah, we're, you're my best friend. So, let's screw this over a little bit. So, she's your best friend. How long have you known her? Five minutes, do we know? No, 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 in the story. We're telling a story. You know ten her years? for 10 years. Very good, very good. 10 years. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Pastor Servants. Always helpful. Um, so, you want to do something nice for her. Let's give her a gift. What would you give her? Yeah, candy bar, candy bar. Candy bar. Say candy, candy bar. bar. A candy bar! <laughs> Fantastic. So she now is going to her neighbor, Brianna, and is going to give Brianna a precious gift. She's smiling. She's, look at them, show your happy face, how excited you are. You have done something good today and you are going to your house. Thank you very much. Now, let's look that way. So you, how do you feel? Um, happy. She feels happy? No, 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 no happy. Oh. You are upset. <laughs> Show upset to them. 
show, show, show mean, mean face. Just like when your mama gives you when, you when you're not behaving. Remember when you were a child? Yeah, yeah. Show mean. There you go. Is that, is that mean? Yeah. Your, mo your mom is nice. Your mom is very nice. So, so you, you, you are upset because she did something to you. You agree with me? She doesn't agree with me. See, this is actually what was going on in Israel. So you're saying, she's evil. She's planning something here. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to get her back. So let's get her back. Okay. What are we going to do to her? Let's bring her some breakfast. Okay. Let's kill her with kindness. <laughs> so what kind of breakfast are we preparing here? Um, pancakes. Pancakes, of course, pancakes. So bring the pancakes. Come on over. Knock at the door. Brittany, you are smiling. You are exciting. All right. And what do you say to her? Here's your Thank pancakes. You. Thank you. She's smiling. You go back. You are rejoicing. You are jumping. You are ten. <laughs> and you are. How do you feel? Happy. No, no. <laughs> Sad. No, you are mad. Show mad. She, you say she's mean. Say she's mean. Oh, she's got a, she's planning something. Let's get her back. Let's get her back. Let's kill her. Okay. With kindness. Okay. It's Sabbath, everybody. We got to rejoice in the Lord. So what, what are you going to do for her? She's going to give her a brand new iPhone. This is going to kill her. So, come on over. Uh, hello. Hello. Here you go. Oh, oh, show them that face. That was perfect. Ooh, she was <laughs> extremely upset because she's got a brand new iPhone. Wow, wow. Come on, let's give him a hand. Oh, before you go, I have presents for you. I don't come empty handy. Look at this, a Pathfinder, special edition, no limits, camp for oh. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, good job. <laughs> By the way, I'm excited about the PBA team going to the union. Where's my Pathfinder people here? Say, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, the whole church is back. Oh, Pastor Benji, you are in good luck here. Good people. Wonderful. I'll see you at the Union of PBA Campari. All this nonsense was actually happening in Israel. It was only stopped when someone will use the word chased. Say chased. When someone will say chased, you know what that meant? Your gift is bigger than mine. Your actions are superior than mine. And I cannot, I cannot do anything to overgive. I cannot do anything to be better than you. Therefore, I accepted chaseh. I hope someone's mind is spinning right now because that's exactly the word that describes our God. What he has done in Calvary, no one in this place can overdo it. You cannot say, I'm going to give you enough money and we're even God. You cannot say, I'm going to do enough good, and we are even God. When you receive a clear manifestation of the power of God, when you feel the presence of God in your life, just like Carl did, the only possible response for you and me as human beings is, Hase. I receive it. I cannot do any other way. How many of you this morning want to say, I received you chaser this morning? That's what the psalmist is saying. Every morning, every morning you say chaser. Your kindness, your love is overwhelming me. Now, there's a second part of it. I need two more volunteers. Pastor Severance, I'm running out of, of, uh, of uh, steam here. I need some water, this living water. Adventist Christian Fellowship. Uh, an advertisement here, free advertisement. Two more volunteers. Coming up, let's give you a hand. Very fantastic. 
When it, oh, oh, oh man, oh man. Mr. Alvarez, where are you at? Mr. Alvarez, pick one for me, please. Is he, is he around? Help me out, please. Pick someone for me. This is so. Oh, there you go. Fantastic. Give me a hand. Your name is? Noah. Say hi, Noah. Your name is? Ina. Ina. Ina, of course. Ina. Ina and Noah. So, the word has said is not only uh, uh, an action that you receive. You're receiving God. You are allowing that blood that he spilled on Calvary to wash away your sins. This is how actually Carl wrote it. I'm going to read it for you. He said, And when I think that God, his son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. I barely can take that in. And, and then he said, And and." That on the cross, my burning gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Friends, that's Hasid in so many words. But here's, here's the thing, though. First Peter chapter 4, verse 17. What book did I say? Very good. Chapter 4, verse, um, I'm sorry, 4, verse 7 through 11 has a description call is tours of grace, is tours of chesed. So, which of you can explain to me what the word stewardship mean? Exactly. Oh, what, what do you think? Yes, 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 she said it. It's someone who manages something for somebody else. So, Peter, listen to what Peter is saying. Has said that we receive, we are to manage it. What? So I'm going to do something for you today. I have, oh, look at that. I have two more special edition Kentucky, Tennessee, no limit pins. And I'm going to give it to you. Just like that. You don't have to do anything. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's, that's good. This represents what Jesus is doing for us, giving us chased. There's nothing that we can do except say chased, and they said chased. Thank you. You receive it. Now, as a manager, is this yours? No, you got it right. It's not yours. So, so 1 Peter 4, 7 to 11 is giving us a picture of what we are supposed to do with chased. He said, the words that you have received uh, when you speak, the strength that you have in your hands, you got to use it. You got to bless other people with it. This is not yours. It's for you to bless other people with it. So I want you this morning to look around, your friends, your peers, your family members. Look at the person that you like the most. Don't do that. that that'll, that'll be... That'll be, that'll be a problem. That'll be a problem. No, no. So, so I, want you, I want you to go out there and give it away. So this, this is chesed that you have in your hands. God's given it to you with the only purpose that you can give it away. So I want you to go out there, give it away, and come back. Ready, set, go. See? The beauty of this word is that we don't deserve it, we receive it. But our only task is to use it for the king. Very good. How was it? Was it hard? Yes. It was very hard. Excellent. Because you did it, there's a teaching in Matthew chapter 25 that goes even beyond. You can come back. Thank you. Wow, that was hard for you, wasn't it? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. That serves as a really powerful illustration. We receive chesed, and sometimes we don't want to give it away. Check this out. The words that you use, when you use them, use them as the very words of God. How will that change your life? 
when, when you're gonna talk to your friends and to your classmates and to your parents and to your pastor and to your conference constituents and your people you love, how will you change the words you use if you know you are managing chased for his glory? Those are the words of God. Be careful what you say. First Corinthians chapter 12 says that you use the words to build people up. Use the words to say, man, I love when you sing right there. Sounds really good and powerful. You use the words to build people up. I know the Lord is working on you. I see it. Praise God. You use people, you use the words to bless people. You use your hands to bless people. I was flying from uh, DC last Thursday and I saw on the on the glass a bunch of pictures hanging there. I was in Southwest. Do you know about Southwest? You do? Oh. It took me three days to go, go, go from Santo Domingo to Nashville in December. You know what they received? Hate mail. I tried to call. It took me five hours to talk to someone. Everybody was calling, 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 calling. You guys messed up. You guys don't know how to do the thing. Getting a lot of hate. But on the window, I saw something that captured my attention. You know what it was? You know what it was? Some people from our territory of the United States of America send Southwest love letters, love mail. And, and they said, you guys rock. You got this. Don't worry about what's happening. You are going to overcome this. And the kids were coloring those pages and send them to Southwest. And I said, man, that's Hasid. I, I hope that those were Seventh-day Adventists saying these people that are struggling, you know, you guys are okay. You guys are going to overcome it because what we do, people, we build people up. We receive Hasid and we give it away so others receive a glimpse of the power of God. Oh, it fills my soul. Oh, I forgot you were here. Oh. So when you receive chesed, you receive even more. One for you and one to give away. One for you and, and one that I will give you in the future when I come back <laughs> to Highland Academy. Thank you guys, you did fantastic. I know I was told I gotta finish at 12, it's 12 for two. Will you give me one minute more? One minute, one minute, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> 15 minutes, easy, easy. I just wanna close by saying, how great thou art, God. The only possible response when I intellectually, when my mind hears God, is to say, how great thou art. The only possible response when my heart is beeping and, and feel the presence of God is to say, how great thou art. But there's one more thing. I want, you, I want to ask you this question. Will you not only receive chesed, but will you also be a steward of chesed? Let me see your hands. Praise God, praise God. May all your neighbors in the churches you come from recognize you because of Hasid. May everyone who come in contact with you in the academy, in the school, in the neighborhood, at play or work, recognize you because you are the stewards of Hasid. And I just, wanna, I just wanna say that this Hasid, receiving it and giving it, is not gonna end right here on earth. In fact, Psalm 92 is connected with Revelation 15.3. Do you know what Revelation 15.3 says? I can't wait to tell you. As soon as I find it. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and amazing are your works. Quoting Psalm 92, quoting Exodus 22. When we get to heaven, 
just like the Egyptians crossed the Red Sea. And, and when they crossed the Red Sea, they finally were free. And they, the only thing they could do is to say, I believe, God, I know, now, you're powerful. And number two, they worship. When we get to heaven, how many of us, by faith, are going to heaven? <laughs> say it, believe it, trust Jesus Christ. If you say, I'm not sure if I'm going to heaven right now, stop listening and start praying. Lord, I want to go to heaven. I want to be with you. Maybe you're thinking, I'm not good enough. Pastor, if you knew what I was doing just last night, you wouldn't ask me if I'm going to heaven. You're hesitant. You're hesitant because you haven't received chassid. But it's my prayer that right now, right here where you are, you say, chassid, I receive you and I accept you. He will change you. He will take care of the rest. Your job this morning, as Psalm 92 said, is to say thank you and to receive chassid. Because when we get to heaven, we'll look back, just like the Israelites look back and say, no more cry, no more suffering, no more pain, no more death, because our God, our Savior, our Lord Jesus has said, I've given me this free gift called eternal life. Oh. This is how Boberg said it. When Christ shall come, we shout. Say amen, shouting. Shout amen. amen. Shout of acclamation. And take me home. This is not my home. This is not your home. What joy shall fill my heart. Has said will overwhelm me to the point that I'll be joyful to the point that I wouldn't know what to say. And then I shall bow in humble adoration and then proclaim, my God, Chazel, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Amen. joined us today, and um, for those who are in Music Fest, your lunch will be up at the cafeteria. For those who are members of the church, we have our fellowship meal over here. Would you bow your heads with me as we pray? Father in heaven, you are so great, and it leaves us speechless when we think of just how amazing that is. But not only are you great and high you live in a high and lifted up place, but also with those who are lowly and have a contrite heart. Come into our hearts this day. In Jesus' name, amen.